What if I told you that one of the world's largest economies is quietly leading the charge in a digital currency revolution? Well, it's happening right now, and PyCoin is at the forefront of this movement. South Korea has just unveiled a groundbreaking map of merchants accepting PyCoin for everyday purchases, from your morning coffee to a night out on the town. Could this be the future of global payments? Stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll have a clearer picture of why this is much more than a regional trend, it's the beginning of something massive. Welcome back to the Gold Rush Crypto Daily Channel, your number one stop for all things crypto. If you're passionate about staying ahead of the curve and uncovering the next big thing in the digital currency world, hit that subscribe button right now and tap the notification bell to never miss an update. Today, we're diving deep into how South Korea is leading the way with Pi Coin adoption. This isn't just about a country embracing crypto, it's about real-world usage. We're talking thousands of merchants already on board, from bustling cities to smaller towns. And I'm going to show you why this matters to you, wherever you are in the world. Stick around because this video will give you insights that might just change the way you view the future of digital currencies, and I've got some personal takes that you won't want to miss. Could Pi Coin be the next major cryptocurrency to explode on the global stage? We've seen how Bitcoin and Ethereum paved the way, but Pi Coin is doing something different, it's actually being used. In this video, I'm going to explain why South Korea's Pi Coin merchant map could be the start of a new global trend, and how this might affect you as a Pi pioneer. I'll also share my thoughts on what this could mean for the broader cryptocurrency market, so make sure to watch until the end. And as always, don't forget to like this video if you're excited about the future of Pi Coin. South Korea's Digital Currency Revolution Pi Coin takes center stage Let's start with the obvious, why South Korea? What makes this country the perfect breeding ground for Pi Coin's real-world adoption? Well, South Korea has long been a tech-driven society. It's one of the most digitally connected nations on the planet, with incredibly fast internet speeds and high smartphone penetration. It's no surprise that they're among the first to embrace a digital currency that's designed for everyday transactions. In my view, South Korea is setting the stage for what we could see in other tech-forward nations. This isn't just a novelty, it's a strategic move. By integrating Pi Coin into daily commerce, South Korea is creating a use case that other countries may soon follow. And let's face it, once people start using a digital currency for their everyday needs, it's only a matter of time before it becomes mainstream. The Pi Coin Merchant Map What's it all about? So, what's the buzz around this newly released map? Essentially, it's a growing list of merchants across South Korea, cafes, restaurants, retail shops, accepting Pi Coin as a legitimate payment method. And this map is constantly expanding, with more businesses joining the ranks every day. Imagine being able to walk into a cafe in Seoul, order a cappuccino, and pay using Pi Coin. Or heading to a boutique in Busan and buying a new pair of shoes, all without ever pulling out your credit card. This is real-world adoption, and it's happening right now. And here's why this matters, it's not just about South Korea. This map is a signal to the world that Pi Coin has crossed the line from being a concept into becoming a practical payment solution. This is where the future of finance is headed. Liking the content so far? Don't forget to smash that like button and share this video with your fellow pioneers and crypto enthusiasts. We're only halfway through and there's so much more to explore about Pi Coin's global potential. Stay tuned. Could this be the beginning of a global trend? Let's zoom out for a second. South Korea's adoption of Pi Coin is undoubtedly impressive, but what if this is just the beginning? What if other countries start mapping out their own Pi Coin merchant networks? It's not hard to imagine this happening. The speed at which merchants are embracing Pi Coin in South Korea suggests that other regions, especially those that are tech-savvy or have a strong crypto community, could be next. We could soon see similar maps popping up in countries like Japan, Singapore, or even the United States. Here's where I think things could get really interesting. 
Once we start seeing cross-border adoption, PiCoin could become a major player in the global economy. Imagine traveling abroad and being able to use PiCoin seamlessly, no currency exchanges, no fees, just a simple digital transaction. That's the kind of future we're looking at. Expanding the Pi Network ecosystem What does all of this mean for the Pi Network ecosystem as a whole? For one, it shows that Pi Coin isn't just a speculative asset, it's part of a broader movement toward decentralization. And as more merchants come on board, it's only going to strengthen the Pi Network's position as a serious player in the world of digital currencies. For Pi pioneers, this is a huge moment. It's validation that all of the time and effort put into mining Pi Coin and building the network is paying off. And for those who are still on the fence about Pi Coin's potential, this growing list of real-world use cases should be a wake-up call. I believe that this is only the tip of the iceberg. As the Pi network continues to expand, we're going to see more innovative applications for Pi Coin that we haven't even thought of yet. This is a financial model that's designed to evolve and we're only at the beginning of that journey. The broader impact. What could this mean for cryptocurrencies? If you're following the crypto space, you know that the real test for any cryptocurrency is adoption. And PiCoin is passing that test with flying colors in South Korea. But what does this mean for the broader crypto market? First, it shows that there's still huge potential for digital currencies to integrate with everyday life. Cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum have carved out their space as investment assets, but PiCoin is showing that there's room for transactional currencies in the marketplace as well. I think this opens up a new frontier for cryptocurrencies. PiCoin's success in South Korea could inspire other projects to focus on real-world adoption rather than just speculative value. And that shift could lead to a more stable and accessible crypto market overall. If you're as excited about the future of PiCoin as I am, make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates on this evolving story. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Are we on the brink of a global PiCoin revolution? What's next for PiCoin? As we wrap up, it's clear that South Korea is leading the way in showing the world what's possible with PiCoin. This is more than just a trend. It's a signal that digital currencies are here to stay. And with the Pi network continuing to expand, I believe we're on the verge of seeing Pi coin go global. So, what's next? More countries, more merchants, and more opportunities for Pi pioneers to spend and use their Pi coin in everyday life. It's an exciting time to be part of the Pi network, and I can't wait to see how this journey unfolds. Thank you for tuning into the Gold Rush Crypto Daily channel. I appreciate each and every one of you who has supported this channel. If you found today's video insightful, make sure to check out my other videos for more crypto insights and breaking news. And remember, this is just the beginning for Pi Coin. Stay connected, stay informed, and as always, keep mining that Pi. This video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions.